Hi guys, Swans Away this year, back again for another video and Swansea City have made their second signing of the January transfer window and welcome to Swansea City, Conor Hurahan. Swansea fans' memories of Conor Hurahan then will be very poor. He did score against us in 2018 on Boxing Day where Aston Villa did beat the Swans 1-0 that day and I believe we've also missed the last one at penalty where Wilf Borney missed. So, you know, Conor Hurahan memories aren't the best but let's hope, you know, in a Swansea City shirt now he can forget those bad memories we've had against him and hopefully he can turn his fortunes around for the Swansea City fans. Conor Hurahan in his only 29 so he's got plenty of years left in him apparently his level is best at championship now he's kind of struggling for game time Aston Villa or oh, he has done this season only four games the season before he played a lot of 27 games I believe something crazy like that and then when Aston Villa were last in the championship he played all 46 games including the two playoff semi-finals against West Bromwich Albion and the playoff final against Derby County he also did score in the playoffs against West Bromwich Albion I think Aston Villa won that day two win on the first leg they did go on to lose the second leg 1-0 but then beat West Brom penalties and then actually did get promoted hopefully Conor Hura and can add to that midfield and provide something that Jan Dan hasn't really done this season which is consistent goals yes Jan Dan has not had consistent game time but you know one in three games Dan that performs less so Horan can perform every single game good news to Son City fans then Conor Horan will be able to make his debut this weekend in the FA Cup against Nottingham Forest he also didn't play in Aston Villa's third round game against Liverpool with the first team squad out due to uh, the non-monetization virus of course don't want to get demonetised and Villa fans were raving about him he still had so many goal contracts I think it's 54 goal contributions in about 126 games for Aston Villa and Barnsley and for a flat centre midfielder that is very good stats got a great free kick on him as well good left foot delivery as well so expect him to be on corners the left side corners expect him to be on free kicks as well so you know we've had some poor free kicks over the last couple of years we've not scored a competitive free kick since 2017 where Gilfie Sigerson scored against Manchester United so it's come up to nearly four years since we actually scored a competitive free kick which is a bit embarrassing really but let's hope Conor Hurahan can uh, make it under four years i think we've needed a signing like this really you know losing more gives right losing casey palmer losing victor york grace there's a lot of players leaving you know well, score depth isn't as big anyway and you know losing free loan players yes a few of them you know we're making a big impact but you don't want to lose any player especially when they're two attacking players so you know more gives right was a big loss to us because he you know was starting to get back to fitness you know palmer he, he was okay and then york grace we all know what happened to him and hopefully right, we can sign someone else in the next coming days we are linked with jordan morris as well if i had to rate this sign out of 10 then it's it's going to be a 10 out of 10 for me. You know, Conor Horan on paper, it looks like he's going to be in a great sign. And he's going to be one of the best players in the championship, 100%, according to his stats before. If you used to play for Barnes as well, Aston Villa. Uh, apparently, his market value is about £5.5 million, which isn't too bad. I don't get him on the loan fee. I don't believe we're actually paying 100% of his wages as well. So, Swansea City have done incredibly well to get a player of Conor Horan's stature to Swansea City this season. I'm pretty sure Conor Horan will be starting for Swansea City, so it'll be very interesting to see what Cooper does. But our midfield, you know, you've got Jay Falter, Matt. Grimes, George Byers, Jan Dander, Corey Smith and now Conor Hura. And our midfield you know, all six of them could play for any championship club in my opinion, maybe not Norwich but you know, that midfield three we've got at the minute is exceptional and now we're just adding quality. I'm so looking forward to the rest of the season. So let me know guys in the comment section down below what do you think of this signing? Like I said 54 goal contributions, 126 games at Aston Villa and Barnsley respectively. I'm so excited by this signing. Like I said, great free kick taker, great corner deliveries as well. Let me know down below what would you mark this sign out of 10. Well, that's our second sign in like the first major sign we're going to make anyway this uh, in the window. Let's hope Sonsic City can make some more. So thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Really do appreciate the support recently and let's hope the Swans can make a few more signings in the next coming weeks. Thanks for watching and welcome to Swansea City, the biggest club in Wales, Conor Horahan.